Forbes Career Coaching Q&A with uh, yours truly, Kenneth L. Johnson. All right, let's see what we got. Looks like there's another call on the line. Here we go, let's see. Hi, my name is Augusta Burkett. I'm from Northeast. I'm having a difficult time keeping my resume to just one page. Is it okay to have a two-page resume? Okay, so that was August, and she wants to know if it's okay to have a two-page resume. She says she's having a difficult time keeping her resume to one page. So I'll tell a quick story here. There is nothing wrong with having a two-page resume. Where that came about a long, long time ago, uh, people used to tell everyone that they only need a one-page resume. And there was a reason for that. One, people used to put their resumes on this really expensive paper. And it was much cheaper to have a one-page resume than a two-page resume because you were actually buying sheets of paper, parchment paper, or whatever it may be, a, a, a high-stock, high-grade resume paper. So one-page resume meant less pages, which meant it saved you money. Also, prior to people submitting information online and prior to the internet, people used to actually hand you their resumes in their hand. They would take a piece of paper, their resume, and hand it to you. So with that being said, your resume was mobile. And when your resume moves around, sometimes things get lost. So if you have a two-page resume, there are chances that people might lose one of the pages. So your contact information is gone. There's no way to get in contact with the candidate. So it's just best to have your resume on one page. Now, those are the two elements that started that discussion, the one-page, two-page resume discussion. Here's the deal. My suggestion is that you only go back 10 years on your resume and if you do go back more than that, only go back with experience that is relevant to the position you are currently applying for. It's all right to have a two-page resume if you have the experience and if the experience is relevant. So you can have a two-page resume. It doesn't matter. Everybody's getting your stuff electronically now, so it's not like they're going to lose a document because they're actually getting the information electronically. So with that being said, you you – you cut out the one piece of it where they could lose your information. They won't because it's coming electronically. However, you don't want to give people a bunch of information that's not relevant to the position you're applying for. So uh, be honest with yourself as you create your resume. Uh, you know, uh, people don't want to read a lot, so you don't. I, I suggest you go with a bullet format instead of paragraphs. Uh, I just think you should highlight that you should make it an accomplishment-based resume. There's a lot of different things that you can do to reduce the amount of content on your resume. Focus in on how you saved the company money, how you had impact, how you added value. Those are the things that recruiters, hiring managers want to see on your resume to uh, pique their interest in bringing you in. Your resume isn't supposed to say everything about you. It's just supposed to provide a marketing document that gets people interested in you and your skill sets. That's all it's supposed to do. That's the only function of a resume, to gain the interest of the hiring and decision makers, all right? So relevant information and be very, very strategic in the information you share. Accomplishment-based resumes quantify a lot of your work history and I think you'll be fine if you do those things, all right?